this exhibition is an important part of uh, history and recent history of China, and I think um, it, it is a very graphic way for us to see what was going on in China at the time, uh, politically what was happening, economically what was happening, uh, nationalistically what was happening, how China um, as the government and the authorities wanted to convey messages to the people. The uh, two uh, genre of early posters are firstly what we would call general propaganda. Propaganda to encourage people to um, look after their bodies, visit the doctor, uh, look after the tools in the factory, repair things that are broken, use resources well. Uh, we also have one very early poster from 1951, uh, which is at the time that China was supporting the uh, North Koreans in the Korean War and it actually depicts uh, Chinese soldiers arriving at the Korean border and being welcomed as heroes to come and support the Korean War effort. Uh, the latest posters uh, from 1997 and 1999 um, celebrate the uh, handovers of Hong Kong and Macau. We have one uh, fascinating poster dating to 1967. Uh, as everybody knows, that was the time that there were riots in Hong Kong against the, uh, the British colonial government. And this poster would have been produced in China, and probably smuggled down to Hong Kong or intended to be smuggled into Hong Kong to support the, uh, the street uh, revolutionaries um, as propaganda that would have been pinned up in Hong Kong. We've now seen four or five different um, posters uh, from that era, all uh, with the same message to encouraging the Hong Kong people to rise up against the British. I have a small collection of books at home in my own personal collection um, about the, the riots, and some of those books have photographs taken in the streets around the same time. And interestingly, doing research last summer, I found one of the posters that we then had in stock actually pinned up uh, in the window of the China product store on Queens Road Central. Propaganda um, posters are used broadly throughout the world and have been for at least 100 years for propaganda purposes of all sorts, whether it's the government encouraging people not to smoke or to study harder um, or as well as having overt political messages. So propaganda posters are, are a very broad um, area. Thank you.